Next up, let's talk about text. Now, whenever you take a snap, you can always add some text to the resulting video or image, but sometimes you might want to include text as part of your lens. To add text in the objects panel, we're going to click on our trusty plus button and we're going to add screen text. Now there's also text object, which can exist in 3D space but we're going to go with screen text because this is just an overlay. You have to be careful with text. You don't want to be obtrusive. People are using Snapchat to share images and videos with their friends. They don't want to read a novel. They want to be able to take a picture that looks nice. So it comes to text, less is more. Stay out of the way of the user and just use it to enhance the image. So how do we do that? Right now we have this pretty plain font and it just says text. Now we can type something out like I'm cool. Um, but I don't know if people are going to use that too much. What we can do instead is let's delete that and let's use dynamic text uh, to make the lens adaptable to the situation. So we can go to insert and we can uh, choose various things like their birth date, their city, the date, the time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's go with the day. So now today is Monday when I'm creating this tutorial. So it displays Monday. If the user would choose this lens on Tuesday, it would say Tuesday. All right, so next uh, we have this font size. We don't need this larger font. Let's take that down a little bit, try 36, or we can even go down like 24. Uh, you can use any size you want, maybe 30. All right, now let's go ahead and position it. So we have this vertical alignment stuff, so I can put it up at the top. I can keep it in the center and I can go left aligned. Now you might know this with that we have these really large bounds here. And so we can adjust this and the text horizontal and vertical alignment is referring to within these bounds. So I can click and drag this around. Uh, so I don't need to just kind of have the text at the top or bottom or sides. I can put this wherever I want. Now, one thing we might want to change is if we click on this full frame region, now let's change this to safe render. So right now I'm at full frame. You can see these kind of green little ticks at the corners of the screen. If I go to safe render, they come down a little bit. And what that does is it makes sure that we won't place our text over any of the icons here or any of the user interface up here. Now I can always grab it and move it wherever I want if I do want to go into one of those areas. Um, but it's very nice to have these guides to stay out of the way of the Snapchat UI. Now, one other thing I can do is I'm just going to scale this down so it fits a little better. All right, so I have this here. I can place it wherever. Um, if I do want to keep it kind of aligned to the left, I can actually pin it to the edge. I can pin this to the left edge. Get this little red line showing me that it will maintain this distance from the left on any device I use. And I can also do that for the bottom. This will keep our text always in about the same spot. Now, if I change the device here, you can see that our text stays down in the bottom left and it's never covered up by the Snapchat UI. Now we are still using this kind of boring font, so I can come in the custom font. If I click the plus, Snapchat has a few built in we can load in. You give that a try. And if we don't like this font, we can come somewhere like Google Fonts and we can find something interesting. Uh, so maybe we want a handwritten font. Uh, let's choose this Explora font. Actually, Shadows into Light. That looks fun. I'm going to download this family. Now that will actually download the zip file. So make sure you unzip that. And then in Lens Studio, uh, you can just import that as you would an image or anything else. So I'm just going to drag my font over and I can now use it. I'll just click there. Open it up and we need to make that font size a little bigger now. And we have our font in our lens.